All right, we are going to chat about about.me, which is uh, a service that was acquired by AOL and is actually a great place for anybody to quickly set up an online portfolio or basically have an online presence if you don't have anything yet. Um, if you have a professional photography friend or someone who can take photos of you, it's a great place to do that. Uh, so as you can see, we're on about.me up here. You can always Google it, but about.me, there's no .com in it or anything. Uh, so about.me is a place that you can go and create something like this. And here you can scroll down. Here's a sample of how it all works and how it looks. So if you have some social media sites, but you don't really have your own website or blog, then about.me is a great place to sort of get started and create an online portfolio. They have partnered with Moo, which is a great uh, business card creator or printer. They're based out of England, and I've used them before, and I'd recommend them. They let you get free business cards based on your about.me account, which is cool. They have an app and you can get your own email address. So if you don't want to use at gmail.com or something like that. Um, so basically about.me is your public profile online and it lets you sell yourself or really anything else. Um, so if you run a business, it can help you be sort of a calling card. So it's kind of your online calling card for whatever interests you. So as you can see here, there's Kevin Rose and a few other people. Uh, Matt Mullenweg, who is the founder of WordPress, and a lot of people use it just to have one place they can really control online. So let's go through the process of actually setting it up. We'll do something nice. So first name, GF Dunn, and we'll do Modern Lessons. And it's free, of course, so. We'll hit join for free. Step two of two, we'll create a quick password. We'll make it um, very simple. So my email or my URL will be about.me slash modern lessons, which is very cool. And we'll just continue on, hit create our page. All this stuff is pretty self-explanatory right now. Uh, and as you can see, it'll dump you off into a sort of a default uh, that it will load for when you first do it. Build in, but in general, the site is pretty useful. So as we continue to load it, I apologize for any delay. Not everybody's computer is super fast these days. Um, okay, so we're going to go in and change it around a little bit. So we'll do, go to account settings and make sure that uh, all this is as we want it. And then you can see this appears, edit page right up there. And now it brings up a little editing window, which is cool. So let's say I have another background image that I really like, uh, and I just found one of a beach prior to recording this, because I like beaches and who doesn't. So we'll just say that that's a picture of my beach or of me or anything like that. So we'll say fit to window, or you can fill the window. I like that a little bit better. That way everybody's browser will show it nicely. Uh, and you can just go in and start adding in lots of information about yourself. So you can do a headline, biography, location, and I'll fill a, a few of these things out. Web guy. I went to Harvard. Learning. Okay. We'll say that my headline is a fun guy. I just want to have fun. Can we all? There we go. And so as you can see, it automatically saves it. It just alerted us. Your changes have been saved. So you don't even need to keep hitting save or anything like that. Um, and we can just keep on continuing to play around with you can really use it for that as well. Um, that's about it for customizing. Uh, there's a lot more you can do, of course, but I'd recommend you just do that yourself. Uh, what 
you could do to find inspiration is hit the old explore pages button and you can move around and choose some other ones so there's lots of people who just use big pictures of themselves which is cool so we can look at a few more that one's a pretty good one <laughs> um, so if you have a whimsical photo you can use that one which is cool so you can click on it and then go to that person's page and it'll load for you slowly but surely sometimes it takes a little bit of time uh, but in general you can uh, just load up any any person's page there we go sometimes you hit refresh and you can follow them and add them to your users and you can connect with the people this way so it's kind of like LinkedIn where you can connect if you see someone who is interesting and you want to work with them uh, but that's about it you can, you can get some messages uh, just like most social networks or portfolio sites um, and just feel free to poke around you can embed your page on your blog which is really fun and you can do it on WordPress it'll walk you through how to do that um, and it's really just a useful way to have a professional presence online all right I hope you learned something thanks